Hey, what's going on out there? I wanted to show you a different way that you can use the Fruity Love filter. Now, it's okay, you can go through and you can use the presets, but if you wanna do it your way, I'm gonna show you how. Now, there are other plugins, third-party plugins that do the same thing, and we're talking about Filter Freak, and there's one that I use called Shade. Um, but listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the cutoff and the resonance to create movement in this sound. So let's play the sound real quick with nothing on it. Sounds good, but we can spice it up a little. So what we do is we load up the Fruity Love filter, then we load up two instances of the peak controller. Now we name them the cutoff and the resonance so we can find it later. So we right click the cutoff, we link to controller, we go to this internal controller, and we go to the cutoff LFO. That's what we're gonna manipulate. We hit accept, and now you can see, when I turn these on, I can control the knob with the LFO tool right here. So what the bass does is it tells me how far I want it to cut off and I can actually do it like that. So we want a pretty moderate level of cutoff and the volume is how much does it cut off or how much does it let through. So we want something like this. We'll play it and then we'll play with the knobs. Now we can also mess around with this tension knob here and what that does is it distributes it differently. So as you can see, it's going from left to right in a pretty even manner. So when we mess around with the tension, it favors the left more and then when we invert it, it favors the right more. But we're gonna leave it in the middle for the sake of this video. And also, we can manipulate the speed. So now that we have that, we're gonna mess with the resonance here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna right click the resonance knob, go to link to controller, internal controller and then we'll see we'll find the resonance and go to the lfo and rinse and repeat now with this what i like to do now what you can do is you can actually stack these and we can go to a different chain here and do something a little different. You will have to load up more instances of the peak controller to uh, connect these two. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna use one. And we're going to exaggerate these settings and then blend it in to see how it sounds. <laughs> Now that we have that, let's go ahead and blend it in. Now let's listen to the roll track again. Now maybe you don't want this on the whole part. Maybe there's a section of your song where you want it to just be a little different and we can use this effect here. Or again, if you just like some of the stock presets that come in the Fruity Love filter, you can use that too. But I just wanted to give you an alternate way. If you didn't have Filter Freak or if you didn't have Shade or any of these plugins that do a volume slash cutoff resonance modulation, you could do it this way. Thanks for watching, peace.